he hasn't been there before, I think, so he'll probably have to show him. Give him a quick tour. Yeah. Can do that. Cypher and like Fortnite. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. How are you? Good, well, what's your... I'm good as Thanks well. Thanks for having me. What's up, chat? Do I need to find your shaker or do you have one? Uh, uh, shaker would be nice. It's even like a cup. This is the standard weeb shakers. Do you want one of those? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, the gym looks a lot nicer, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's starting to uh, take more shape with some uh, Ares murals. It's not my kind of murals, maybe, but uh, <laughs> it's something at least. I'm, I'm not into that now. What would you put? I would have had the pictures of Ronnie Coleman, Jay yeah, Cutler, yeah, yeah. Philly. You know, the, the giant murals of him in the pose and stuff. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I would prefer that, but I guess that it's different. I, I saw you did some uh, yeah. gym streams. Yeah, in, yeah. Is that in your garage? Uh, it was in my garage, and then I also have one at my facility, like my HQ. I have like a small room for uh, yeah. workouts. I might have been there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the the change has been big. Just yeah, I lost. Uh, my baby bro so when uh, Fortnite came out, I was just streaming every day and just ordering DoorDash. So I gained a lot of weight. Well, I got married, and Fortnite came out at the same time. So I gained a lot of weight. Isn't that normal to yeah. gain weight? To get yeah, but I gained like 50, 60 pounds. Yeah. So I was like 265 uh, at my heaviest, and then I dropped down to like 185. And then I bulked, and then I dropped down again, and then I bulked, and now I'm cutting again. So I, I just, my like max bulk recently was like 245. It's a little bit heavier than I want it to be, but right now I'm like 228. 228. Yeah. yeah. It's a good weight. Yeah, it for my, yeah, for my height. I'm trying to, I want to be like 215, but like shredded. But I still gotta like, probably like train for like five more years to do that. No, it, it, it takes time. Yeah, yeah for sure. What did he say? Do not let him uh, to the computer, he will start playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> you have your on your we haven't installed it. My community yeah. is not Fortnite community. No, I, I, I could have guessed that. So they were a little bit skeptical, like, oh my god, cringe Fortnite, some was that. And some knows who you are, yeah. obviously, because you're big on YouTube and, uh, and Twitch. Yeah. So some knew they were like, this is good, they want to see Cypher in the gym. I, I'm ready to push myself today, yeah. like, whatever you got. Like, so I, we, I, do, uh, we do shoulders and uh, chest. I'm down. Yeah. That's, uh, or shoulders and triceps. You Sh can shoulders and chest is good with me. Yeah. 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 Alright, thank you. Let's take that one. He's getting the special toilet so he doesn't have to... Uh, <laughs> See the shitty ones now. <laughs> so, personally, when I do chest and uh, shoulders, I start with my weak points, which is shoulders. Okay. But uh, what, what would you say is your weak point? I do think my shoulders are my strong point. We can do chest first. Yeah. Well, what's, your, uh, what's your training philosophy like? Uh, so usually, like for me, yeah. Uh, and let me know like what you think about it, but I usually do like every set to failure and I do like three sets. I completely like destroy myself like on most sets, but I I, I, so I know some people it depends on how, how high volume you're doing. Yeah, I usually do just three maybe four different exercises and I go three sets So like failure. nine to twelve re set to failure? Yeah, yeah I guess so. But I mean, I, I, I want to do what you, we, what you do. I'll, I'll take you through what I do. Yeah. I I will do, uh, usually right now, I will do two sets per exercise, two work sets. Yeah. And the first set to do a little bit heavier. Okay. So maybe like in the six to ten range. Okay. And, uh, and maybe not completely failure, but pretty close okay. or up there. And second set, we have a little bit lighter and you do like eight to twelve uh, in that range. Plus some exhaustion technique, for example, a drop set or All right. a rest pause set, whatever. Drop 
set? Yep. I think this is a good one. That's a good set. How's I'm you're impressively strong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 14. Oh, it was still heavy. Yeah. It's good. Oh, that was a heavy set. Oh. If you haven't done this before, it's pretty I difficult. I use this machine, yeah. Do you just uh, fly? Yeah, I could do that. You can press it up oh, so cool. you can grab the handles. And... Oh, this is really light. Maybe we need a little bit more. You can, you can feel the movement. Yeah. You can go pretty deeper. At least for me, I cannot hit the bottom of the machine. Yeah. What I usually do as well is like, for each machine I go into, I do like one or two set, or as many as I want, just to feel the movement and increase the weight up to where I want to be. Before you get to your set. working set, yeah. That's, that's what I usually do as well. Yeah. He has good technique. There's no uh, throwing weights or uh, doing bad reps. Pretty steady form. Try to do a rest pause where you just stop the weight when you have failed. And you rest for 15 seconds. At the bottom? And you can just put it down to down the weight. You just count through. Yes. Then you do some more reps. Come on. Yes! Yeah. You can do two more. Yeah. One. One more. Yeah. Oh, that was it. So now you've basically been through how I work out. Yeah. You don't need to train legs unless you're competitions. Yes, it should have. Oh, the legs are big legs are attractive. Yeah. And I think no matter what you do, if you're training at least if you're not training for a specific sport, but if you're just training, you should aim for a balanced physique. Yeah. Oh, I was light. Yeah. I think I can... Uh, Max this one out? Yeah. That is some of the issue with... Machines. Yeah, machines that aren't plate loaded. Yeah, you can't, you can't go over a certain amount. Yeah, but still, if you... You will notice on that machine that it's so yeah. heavy. It's so heavy, yeah. yeah. It also comes down to how the cables are set up. Yeah. So we have to move... Uh, the, the stack moves faster than what you're pushing, so it gets heavier. Yeah. I will help you when you can't push it. Yes! Let's go later. Just wanted to see if I can push the... the oh, you could? Yeah, that was the... that was Max. Yeah. As soon as I start cutting, my strength stops. Like I, I can't go higher while I'm cutting. No. Yeah, it's it's not even worth uh, trying to like one rep max when you're in the deficit. No, I would say it is no point. As yeah. Or sometimes if you have a lot of fat, yeah, yeah. then you, you can, can, you can uh, gain. So when I first started cutting, like the 265 down to 200 yeah. or 190, I was gaining strength most of the way down. Yeah. It wasn't until I started seeing abs come in that's when uh, the strength kind of stopped. And even slowed, like dropped just a tiny bit. Yeah. But if you're really heavy, like you can definitely put on a lot of strength while cutting. Yes, yeah, especially if you haven't lifted much uh, oh, yeah. in the time period yeah. before. I love that one. But that's okay. Let's go, fatty. I'm always being called <laughs> fatty on my channel. That's crazy. <laughs> Give everybody body a smart bit. Bump the fat and bulk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was too heavy. <laughs> I'll take off some. But this is, 
it isn't often you find one of these machines where you, where I struggle with half the half the stack. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, that's over. It's over. I think this is more than enough for a chest workout. Oh, for sure. Have you tried a machine like this before? Uh, no, I haven't. And I'll show you. This, this one can be used, first of all, if you want. If we wanted to do more chest, this could have been a good exercise. Oh, like I will a get... lower, lower chest? Yeah. So you could do, you could even lean in and put your head on that one. Yeah, yeah. Just press down. <laughs> it's heavy at the bottom. <laughs> you can try just one if you want to test. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's heavy at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. So that, that could have been a good one just to yeah. finish off if we wanted more, but... I feel like this is what it's made for. Man, that burns. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. So, so one, for one of the reasons, and you, you might already know, but when you have a weight stack like this, all the movement will lift the weight right up. Yeah. So if you have a dumbbell and you're moving it from here to there, there's almost no weight. Yeah, yeah because there's you're just moving it yeah. out. Yeah. Well, this one, you you'll always it. move it straight, the weight straight up. And that's a good thing with machines yeah. that you can't uh, get from a weight. We'll have to go through a, a leg workout next time. Really. Yeah. I, we gotta beat the. Well, I gotta beat the uh, skipping leg allegations. <laughs> Chat, come here and look at this uh, side delt. How big that one is. That that muscle. That, I can tell you, he has way bigger side delts than me. What I see that we need to work on this guy one, like for tall guys, and now we're talking shit behind his back because we're standing behind him. <laughs> I see we need to build your back. Build a back? Back and uh, yeah. le legs. Legs, yeah. I think if we do a workout now and then, like uh, just to do it through, yeah. I think we could do that. I'm done. So this is just like 185. <laughs> I, I, it was actually morning of, I was 178, but that's uh, like dehydrated, you know, yeah. like, like water cut and everything, so you did which is so light. You even did a water cut? I did a water cut, yeah. <laughs> I, don't I, know if I, I don't know if I did it right. I mean, I followed a coach's instructions. It's just, I felt bigger the day before the photo shoot. I, mean, okay. I think I didn't eat enough carbs on the day. So, uh, how did he do the water cut? So, if I'm remembering correctly, it was like two and a half gallons, seven days out, and then just... Uh, Two gallons, one and a half, one half a gallon, and then quarter of a gallon, and then like the day before it might have been like just a big cup with a little bit of tea in it. Okay. I also took a, a diuretic yeah. to, to drain out the water, uh, like some salt manipulation, I forgot what we did, we did a little bit of salt manipulation, and then the day of, I ate a lot of rice cakes, but I don't think I ate enough rice cakes, I don't think I filled out enough. So I can I can tell you how my protocol was for the last week for Arnold uh, Sports Festival yeah. in UK. So we started like a week before, like it was Saturday was the competition. We yeah. started a week before by drinking 10 liters. So that is basically two and a half gallons. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically the same. Yeah. And that was drinking that every day. Every day. Until until uh, Friday. Okay. So the same amount of or no. Thursday and Friday we cut down to six liters of one and a half gallon. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's a lot of water still. Yeah. Uh, salt we started really high. And then you brought ten grams a day. Okay. So I, I add all ingredients. I I'm like when I get those messages I get like this is should be precise. Yeah. Nothing should be left out to yeah, any yeah. So yeah. all the food was like bought in without added salt. <laughs> And I had I bought this medical scale to weigh my salt. Yeah. So I put on like I took I cooked all my food just with spices without salt. Yeah, yeah. And then I put on the salt afterwards, wet measured 10 grams, divided it through the day. Yeah. And then what do you do leading up to the show? Like uh, yeah, so, so you so water down to Thursday, Friday. I, I will tell you to change this. Yeah. So uh, Thursday. We started cutting down to six grams of salt okay. while we were cutting down the water a little bit. Yeah. And uh, 
Friday we did six grams as well because I looked pretty dry. Yeah. But for the last meal we just sprinkled, took one sprinkle of salt in the last meal. Mm -hmm. And Saturday when it was competition we took a sprinkle of salt in, uh, in each meal. Nothing more. So you yeah. cut down a lot on the salt. Yeah. But not cutting it out. Yeah, yeah. And, and that it's gonna, was. It's gonna dry you out. Yeah, mm -hmm. and before, like 8 p.m. Friday, took half a diuretic. Yeah. Like a combination of two things. I can't remember the name of it now. But you were peeing like all. Dandelion the... root, something like that. No, the okay. ones you need prescription for. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> so. So I got, I got it prescribed. Yeah. But I, it's like it comes in boxes of hundred. Okay, okay. And you needed half of one. Gotcha, gotcha. And uh, we did carb up on wait, Thursday. So I I had low days for a week. What, what did you carb up like? Had, like you, did you eat a lot of, like rice cakes or just, no, just, just pure we carbs? Just, uh, so. I, 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 we didn't change any of the carbs. You just increased it. So we just increased it. It was, we added in, uh, I think we had 100 or 100 and, I think it was 100 grams of rice for four meals. It was 100 grams of oats in the morning and 400 grams of potatoes to <laughs> one meal. That's insane. This one is pretty simple. I like to just stand because many people are like, pushing but we're doing shoulders not yeah, legs and this one loads pretty heavy and you can go pretty deep stretch on this one know, you're, ma you're making it look heavy you're making me nervous Nine and a half, I think, or ten, or ten and a half, or something. Picture. Still got the 25s. It loads so heavy, yeah, this yeah. machine. Because uh, I, I feel like I do barbell 45 and like a 20 and I feel fine, but this... Yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> that was heavy. Yeah, that was. Whew. That was a good set. Really good set. We're pushing ourselves today, guys. Yeah. We can turn oh. the seat in. That's nice. If your phone was up there and we had crushed it through oh, no, no, no. the machine, it wouldn't be nice. In this one, I tried to do as big uh, circles as possible, like the, for the arms yeah. far forward. And, uh, yeah, if you want the 3D, uh, 3D shoulders, especially from the side, you need some rear delts. This even is working with the long, uh, like creating big circles. He's using less of the back and more of those two. This is what he's trying to train right now. You can see they're being activated pretty good. See when he takes it down now. See the muscle is holding. Two. One more. Last one. Yeah. That. <laughs> that was max. Nice. It was a good set. Yeah. You know the, the yeah. Arnold and St Sylvester, yes, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. That was uh, over. That was fucking good. That was a good workout. Thank you. I, I, I want to make sure that any other streamer comes in like they gotta they gotta push they gotta push yeah 
I would say he is. Uh, you know what you're doing. You're like experience. Uh, experienced level, not competitor level, Diamond but ring. almost, Diamond almost uh, into the competitor yeah. level. Yeah. It seems like it's doing everything correct, and he's uh, precise with his measurements, as he's saying as well, which I think is the most important that thing. Is, with that is uh, most I'll show you in that pose. Yeah. You could ideally put your arms a little bit higher, I think, than you did. Because when you do the double biceps, you want to have your biceps above your shoulder. You don't want to lift your shoulder, you want to have them down. And twist a little bit so you get the back out. Let me see. When you're flexing, look, you're flexing a little bit hard, so yeah. you're like shaking. Yeah. But you can do it pretty just light. So side pose, you will yeah. put the legs first. So you go right with the legs, so you, you put the, that leg, the one that is behind first, down. This, this one? one. No, the one you have uh, the other way. Yeah. And then you take this one and yeah. just push your hamstring towards it. So you're like pushing it out and you place your toe back in the middle, all the way in there. Okay. And then you push up the, this one, yeah. you're letting the hamstring just hang. Some people go deeper down there, okay. some people stand a little bit higher. And then you're flexing glutes, calves, uh -huh. that's the leg positioning first. All right. And then you're, in a way, just chest pushed out, and biceps, and you're flexing hair as well. So your midsection should be here and tight. And instead of going there, you just... So this shoulder is a little bit pushing the, the back chest out. So then you get wider on top, <laughs> smaller down there. Bye chat, it was uh, fun working out with Canute. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you play Fortnite or watch Fortnite, that's mainly the content I do. But of, of course, I'm always trying to like expand and do other stuff, but still mainly Fortnite um, for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, everybody.